Core Lies. What's up, body bags? Andrew here, back at you, week 189, I want to say. I uh, know, week 188. It's week 188. Again, I always watch the videos before this and never remember. Um, anyways, there was a movie I watched this week that um, I thought would be a good good uh, one to do for this week for a random review. And that is Stigmata. This is a movie that, it came out in 2002, I believe. No, 99. Wow, it's a 90s movie. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, this is one that I like really, really just missed. I've never watched it. Um, <coughs> I've, you know, I, I, I didn't even really, I like, I knew it was like a religious drama horror movie kind of thing, but I, I didn't really know anything much about it. So I put it on, <clears throat> I finally picked it up. As you can see, it was super cheap. So, um, I just picked it up from FYE. And so, um, Basically, this one is about a girl who randomly receives stigmatas, um, and they come randomly, and people don't know what's going on. It's you know, you know, it's it's just one of those films. And then the 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 a priest uh, is sent in by the Vatican to investigate this, and <clears throat> you have your basic the basic basic uh, set up from there. And it plays off the whole, like, um, the structures of church, basically institutionalized religions being very oppressive and, and very unhelpful to people. And they're interested in their own political, um, you know, well-being and in their own, you know, keeping their own, um, you know, they want to look good and all that stuff. So it's it's one of those films, and it's so interesting the way that they um, you know go about doing that in this story, and then you know it it, it just definitely deals with uh, it's definitely a movie that deals with the theme of like it's not it's not anti spirituality, it's very spiritual movie, but it's anti structured institutionalized religion. So it, it, it definitely is an interesting take on in it, and I can't think of another horror movie that really has a condemning message towards you know institutionalized religion, and then you know <coughs> has a positive message towards spiritual. I, I can't rem think of another one, but this, this is a really a rather interesting film. I think, um, yeah, I think this one uh, it runs about a hundred minutes. I want to say, yeah, one hundred and two minutes. That's with credits. Um, yeah, it runs just under 100 minutes. It, it, it's super... Um, this is a rather frustrating one for me to review on the technical end because on one hand, the story is so well written and the characters are so well developed. But on the... And on, and on one hand, some of the cinematography is brilliantly made, like the colors and, you know, the the... You know the the some of the camera angles they used they they went with was so interesting and really added depth to the film. But then some of the direction and some of the editing was just appallingly bad. You had some of that MTV edits, and it just doesn't work with a film like this. It really hurts the film. It just is so jarring, and it's it, it's it's <coughs> it's really a film that like has so many brilliant aspects, but just a lot of aspects that are just bad on that end. So it's a really fascinating story, and on that end, you can't go wrong with this movie. But on the other hand, there's a technical aspect that just bugs me about this film. So I would recommend watching this film, um, but just make sure you don't have a headache or, an, or epileptic, because this movie is just ridiculous. Um, it has so many fast cuts of like eight different images, and it's just, I, I don't know. I, I, it works in certain films, like um, it, it really works in, um, let me get it out here. It really works in Re Requiem for a Dream. You know, those ha that has fast edits, and it's actually necessary. This is not necessary to have these fast edits and things like that. It really doesn't work in this film. And it really hurts. It hurts the rating for me. <clears throat> With all of that being said, you know it has some strong elements, some like nine out of ten elements. 
um, has some elements that are like 5 out of 10. It's just very, very poorly made. Um, overall, I'm going to give it a... I lean towards a 7, um, but I want to say conservatively a 6.5 out of 10. It's definitely a movie I won't watch too often, but it's a movie that I could definitely watch you know, once or twice a year and be fine with it. It's, it's still an interesting movie. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so that's going to be all. <coughs> all right, that's going to be it for this week. Um, thanks, guys, for watching, and I will uh, be back at you next week with another random review. Peace.